Hi, I'm Byron. I forget things all the time. So, so much so that I decided that I want to stop forgetting some of the most important things. Last year, I got to go to Hybrid Comp in Stockholm, which was quite fun. I've got some family friends that live out there, and we ended up going, spending the weekend um, at their lakeside and eating crayfish. It's a great time. We got to go out. We just got to do loads of cool stuff, like paddling in the water, swimming in the water at night. Fantastic, especially after a bit of alcohol. Great. But one of the things is, I would forget that I do this, and I forget all of the little things that I did. So I started to write a journal, but I did it as Markdown. And Markdown's fine for remembering or just for writing lots of text. But then I realised this is the modern world, and I could use some new HTML5 media feature called IndexedDB and store everything in the browser and all of my posts and all of my thoughts that I've had. So IndexedDB is kind of why well, it's an object oriented database in the browser that will store everything persistently, so it's not going to disappear if you refresh your browser, it's not going to disappear if you close your browser down, unless you're using uh, incognito mode, for example. You can do transactions in it, which is pretty awesome. You can do schema upgrades, and you can do have multiple different versions running at different times. So you could have a different one client using one version, one client using another version, and then they could upgrade when they downloaded or reloaded their page. So I thought, okay, then let me do, try and do something about this and try and maybe put all of my posts into IndexedDB and see if I can find anything interesting or try and make my life a little easier so I don't have to carry on writing markdown. So I started by having it like a document. It's got a key and some text that I would write. So that would be my current thought. Oh my God, I'm doing a talk. Hi, Bristol J. Then what you need to do is to create a database. I've been cheeky and done all of this in Angular because there's a fantastic little wrapper for, or a fantastic library for it. So all you have to do is import the IndexedDB provider and then here is an example of creating a database. So you're going to create version one of the database and give it a key. So this is like your primary key uh, that you'd have in the database. You can specify whatever it is. So it could be like a UUID or it could be an auto-incrementing ID anything you like. So now I've got a database called ThoughtDB, and I've got a table or a collection called Thoughts. Now I have my document that I want, my current thought. So I open my database, or I open my collection, sorry, I insert the document, it gets created, and then I do something with it. So on Angular, I might then <coughs> go and assign it back to the model, or assign it back to the view, sorry, so it can magically update with two-way data binding. Another thing that I, it's pretty common, you want to query the database. So if I want to get all of the posts, um, then I can just call get all and it will list everything out. I could then, for example, do a map over those and return different kinds of data structure or filter them out using a standard JavaScript filter. Um, also, you can do some other cool things and get the index DB to filter all of the stuff out for you. So you can have greater than queries and less than queries, so you can do date ranges. That's a bit advanced for me. Um, I haven't done that bit yet, so that's probably next week. You can delete all of the things that you've just been put in there. So I've just done a timestamp, for example, as a key. And I just say to delete it. And again, with Angular, it's got the standard promise for that. One of the big problems, though, is that it's not persistent. So this data store that you've been writing to might just disappear because you've run out of disk space, um, it's got corrupt, or you've just cleared your browser cache or something else. Now, this led me to a little bit of a conundrum. So I'm going to put all of my precious thoughts into this data store, and then they might disappear. So how am I going to sort this out? Well, I haven't done it yet, and please suggest things if you can come up with them. But I need some way of synchronizing all of these things now back up to the to, up to a server of some kind <coughs> and ensure that what happens if I have to have two laptops? I might write something there or I might write something on my phone and I want them to both be in sync at the same time. So I came up with three ideas. I could use kind of like a cursor, <coughs> auto, auto incrementing. I could use a timestamp so they could decide which or which updates to get. 
or maybe some kind of change log. So any suggestions, that'd be really good. So I made a bit of a demo, um, really short one, hopefully. So this is storing stuff in IndexedDB, so, ah, you can't see it. No. Let's do Apple F1, Apple F1. Noisy stuff. Oh. <laughs> That's not so, so good. close. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not responsive. But you'll get the idea in a sec. So the idea is that I'm gonna, I've opened my database. I've upgraded the schema because I've loaded the page. I can enter something. So I'm going to do an insert. And I'm going to add it, and I can magically refresh my browser, and it's still there. And today, I can then delete it using my key. This is really cool because it's all really quick, so I can effectively keep a cache set of posts or whatever, so you could really use this quite extensively. That's all. Thank you very much.